So olivine is this green rock here. What's special about it is that when it interacts with water and CO2, it causes the CO2 to turn into what corals use to build their skeletons. So when it breaks down, we can turn CO2 into shells and permanently store them in rock in the seafloor. Project Vesta isn't a typical industrial-sized carbon removal process in which vast amounts of CO2 are sucked from the atmosphere and stored underground. But it is one of several early stage capture projects in a million dollar investment from Stripe. The San Francisco electronic payments firm chose more costly innovation instead of simply paying for cheap offsets from the likes of landowners who agree not to cut down their trees. Step one of Project Vesta is to locate a, a reserve of dunite, which is a formation of 90% pure olivine. Once we find that location, we'll, step two is to minimally grind and transport it to the nearby coastline. Step three is to put that rock with a thin layer on the beach where the, in the tidal area where the waves will grind it down into small sand and the collisions will rapidly accelerate the weathering process, which sucks up CO2. Stripe's commitment is small compared to the size of the global task, but it is having an impact. Microsoft, for one, was impressed and has announced a $1 billion investment in carbon removal. Another Stripe beneficiary? is Charm Industrial, which takes biomass, which would otherwise decompose, and produces bio-oil, which is then stored underground. At the most basic level, we're taking waste agricultural residue, heating it up without oxygen, so without air, and that causes it to turn into solid ash and a liquid called bio-oil. And that bio-oil contains almost all the carbon that came from the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And then we take that carbon uh, bio-oil and pump it underground into uh, waste disposal wells. There is a note of caution, though. Some environmentalists warn that alternative carbon removal can distract from pushing for more significant emissions cuts, and that scaling up greenhouse gas capture projects may turn out to be energy inefficient or actually harm the planet. <laughs>